Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is how to set up the pads on the Vortex Wireless 2 to change the sound in Ableton Live Lite. Connect your Vortex Wireless 2 to a computer using the USB cable. Turn the Vortex Wireless 2 on and select a preset. Open the preset editor and retrieve the preset. In the pad section, change the type for pad 1 to CC momentary. Change the MIDI channel to channel 1. Change press to 127 and make sure release is 0. Click on the colors tab and select a color for pad color 1. Now do the same for all 8 pads. Send the preset back to the same preset on the Vortex Wireless 2. And close the preset editor. Open Ableton Live Lite. And delete any audio tracks by going up to the heading of the audio track, clicking the right mouse button and pressing on delete. Insert more MIDI tracks until you have eight by clicking on the top bar with the right mouse button and clicking on insert track. Drag a sound to each MIDI track. In the top right hand corner, click on the MIDI button so all controls are highlighted blue. Click on the first MIDI track arm button now, click on one of the pads on the Vortex Wireless 2. The link will now appear in this box. Click on the arm button for MIDI Track 2 and click on a different pad on the Vortex. Continue doing the same till you've done all eight tracks. In the top right hand corner, click on the MIDI button again to turn off the blue highlighting. Finally, save your live set. Now pressing different pads on the Vortex will now change the sound played by Ableton Live. Press on more than one pad to combine sounds.
If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.